Hello everyone, on this video we are going to see how you can add native code to your Flutter application. In this example it's going to be Kotlin for Android and Swift to um, iOS. As a starter project we have already here the layouts. You can see here the iOS version and the Android version. If I click on the buttons nothing happens but we already have here different colors for different operating systems. You can see here the layout is very simple. Just the main app that calls the my home page and the, uh, and my home page is a stateful widget with um, a column that shows uh, the text here and uh, a button without action now. So let's create this method create a channel to communicate between Flutter and the native code. You should give it an unique ID. My recommendation is that you use the application ID. So, I'm going to give the application ID for this example. And create a method to perform the communication. So the method that we are going to use here, it returns a future in the void. Now let's call it get message. And create a variable. native code and put the code inside and try block because the native code can throw some arrow and, and catch the unplot form exception So if uh, it is successful, we should retrieve the message. If uh, there was an arrow, we should uh, place the arrow here. So here equals. And we should give it the same name here and on the native code so the channel is uh, a communication path here is uh, the method that you want to call you can have multiple methods on the same channel we'll call it like this and if there is was an arrow I can put it like this after this we can set the state update this message and uh, this will reflect here in the text equals and call this method in when the button is pressed so on the footer code everything is ready now we should go to the Kotlin code for Android and uh, Swift code for iOS. So let's go first to Android and go here, app, source, main, Kotlin. 
and main activity. And here you can click to open on Android Studio, so it works better with imports and the call tooling. Let's open it. I will just copy the code and export it. So here the channel, make sure it's the same as in the um, footer code and call the method channel like this binary message and pass the channel and uh, set a method call handler in this case is the same as we put on the footer curve and here inside we can um, run the Kotlin code we want on this simple example is just a to retrieve a message but you can do whatever you want and a check to see if it was successful or not in this case I just um, check if the string is empty or not and return it stop and run again on Android and you can see here the message let's do it the same thing but for iOS to do that go to iOS runner and update Swift open with Xcode you can change it on Android Studio but it's better to do it on Xcode because it's ready to run a Swift code so update it and I will do the same thing just copy and explain so basically on the method that gets the did finish launch with options you should add the channel the same thing and here is similar to uh, Kotlin and on the on the channel set the method call and or with the method name and get the message here the message is uh, similar to the Implementation we did in Kotlin. Okay, so let's close this and run it. Here you can see the Swift message, and here you can see the Kotlin message. So, thanks guys for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button, and see you again in the next video.